Hello, I'm Arach, an engineer from Wallstream Labs. As you already may know, Wallstream is a drop-in replacement for Apache Kafka. In this website, we are presenting our managed data pipelines, which is basically the method through which you can run ETL and stream processing, but inside your Wallstream agents. You don't need any other extra service or infrastructure. The way it works is very, very simple. You go to a Wallstream console UI, you edit a YAML file describing your pipeline, and that's all. This will directly submit the pipeline to your Wallstream agents running within your VPC, and they will start running it. Let me show you a very simple example on how this would work. Here you see Wallstream console UI. You would go to a cluster where you want to run the pipelines, and then you just need to click in the Pipelines tab. There, you create a pipeline with whatever name you want. In our case, let's call it demo. First thing you will see is a YAML file editor, with a simple example that consumes from a Kafka topic, reads data as strings, capitalizes them, and then produces them into a secondary topic. In order to run this pipeline in your PPC, you just need to save it, and then set the state into running. Perfect. That's all. Now your pipeline is running your worst team agents. In this editor, of course, you can create and edit pipelines, pause and resume them as you like, and you can use version control and branching to roll back and forward the different versions that you create of your pipeline. So for example, if you didn't set correctly the topic name as the output, you can click on edit and then update the topic name. In our case, let's add a prefix named fixed and save it. However, the initial version is the one still running. So to deploy the new version, you just click on the new version and in the deploy button. That's all. You will see that this small green symbol representing what version is running shows the new one is selected. But you can very easily jump from one to another and deploy what, whichever version you want. But that's all. That's how simple it is. We provide different YAML configurations that you can copy paste. Here we have examples for mapping, uh, multiplexing, windowing, uh, generating parquet files, and many more. You can click and you will get to the documentation here. You should go and check it because all the main sync and sources that you can come up with will be already available. Databases, caches, APIs, etc. So if you want to start running pipelines directly within your agents without any extra infrastructure, you should check out the website for more details.